Hey everybody, Pete Warner here with this week's dining show and uh, sitting here at Geyser Point. My, one of my favorite places to eat on property, uh, having a little bit of lunch. And I am joined by Craig Williams and uh, Jimmy Valdez and Melissa Gill from our Spanish language sister site, cdisney.com. Um, now for appetizers, we ordered the cheesy barbecued brisket uh, that's served with house-made chips that was $11 and the teriyaki chicken wings uh, for $15. You get about eight wings with that. So, a little pricey for eight wings, but they are eight really, really good wings. The teriyaki glaze they put on is a very rich flavor and they're really hard to stop eating. If you like teriyaki wings and you're hungry, I recommend ordering two. Uh, the cheesy brisket is also very, very good and uh, always a stalwart. Always, these are the two things I always order when I come here because they're really good and they're consistently good, which is kind of the case with Geyser Point, one of the reasons I love it so much. And these do not disappoint, but let's hear what everybody else has to say. Hey everyone, Jimmy from C Disney, and as Pete said, I have to agree, the, the appetizers are really good here. This is our second time, technically, here eating here, because yesterday uh, we, we came to the quick service version of this, this place. You can take out and, and eat it in your room if you want to. And I asked for the bison burgers, but I didn't try the, the appetizers. So this is my first time trying them. And I have to say that they're really, really good. Delicious. Um, the cheesy brisket is, the meat is very flavorful. Um, the teriyaki is um, sweet, but not, you know, you can get like this teriyaki that it's too over overpowering is the word. Uh, that takes the flavor out of the chicken. It's not uh, the case here. So, yeah, good start here at Geyser Point. Well, hi everyone, everybody. <laughs> I'm Melly from Sea Disney. Well, I didn't try the wings because I don't like wings very much, so sorry. But I tried the cheesy brisket and I love it because it has three of my favorite things. I'm like Mary Poppins. <laughs> no. Um, crispy food, uh, cheese, and it was sweet. And I love the flavor and, uh, you know, it was really, really good for an appetizer. Like Pete, I've had both of these appetizers many times before. I always think the wings here are really delicious. This time is no different. There's a bunch of chicken on these bones and it's just that soy heavy glaze that's on top. It is, it, it's just so indulgent. And with the cheesy brisket dip, I just love the difference in textures. You know, the, the crunchy salty chips with just the little hint of sweetness from the barbecue sauce and the cheese it just all comes together uh, the appetizers here honestly i usually make a meal out of them and just skip the entrees but we're getting entrees today too so stay tuned okay so for my entree i got the signature dish here at geyser point the bison burger bison cheeseburger comes with bacon crispy onion straws sweet crispy onion straws, marionberry sauce, lettuce, tomato, and garlic aioli. And that is $20. And it, there's a reason it's so popular. There's a reason people rave about this burger. Um, there are other burgers on property that have been dubbed the best. And they're very good. They're very good. I don't think they're better than this one though. Between the quality of, of the bison beef and the fact that it's not gamey means it's really well prepared. Because bison can be gamey. And this is there's no game in this at all. You're eating a really good burger. 
and the flavor profile that comes from that garlic aioli, the marionberry sauce, the onion straws, uh, is just incredible when you mix it all together. So every bite, every bite is just heaven. And yeah, $20 burger, absolutely worth $20. Absolutely worth $20. I don't know the teriyaki chicken wings are worth $15. They're good. They're good. I think that might be a little high in the price. But for this bison burger, absolutely not. It is priced right for what you're actually getting. So I can't recommend it highly enough. It's worth going out of your way for. So in my case, I have the roasted salmon. It's, you can say it's a healthy option here in the menu because tonight we're going to be eating at Whispering Canyon. And if you've been here, you know that you should bring your yoga pants to go there. So that's why I went for the like healthier uh, option in the menu. And I have to say that, of course, uh, uh, yesterday I tried the bison burger and if you're gonna be coming here, that's uh, the dish you should ask for. It, that's the one that really blew my mind yesterday. But this one was pretty good too. Um, the, it came with uh, with some greens uh, and uh, quinoa beneath it, and they, they're calling it warm ancient grains. I had to ask uh, Craig what was that. He said quinoa, which is a word we use too. So, but. Like I said, um, it felt fresh, it felt good. I'm not that full. I have the space, I think, to go to Whispering Canyon after. Uh, and I think it's because I, I also had water with it and not uh, a soda or something that like, you know, I don't feel bloat or, or full. So yeah, uh, it's 17 bucks, $17 if you want to have the, the salmon, if you're coming for a healthier option. Just to, uh, so you know that you can have that here. And I got the grilled portobello salad. It is $12 and it's seasonal green salad, zucchini, roasted red peppers, squash, onion, multigrain, goat cheese dressing, and balsamic reduction. When they say multigrain, I believe they mean quinoa because that was all throughout this entire dish. And for $12, I thought this was absolutely a steal. This thing was delectable. I mean, it's a salad, so I didn't feel like overly full at all with it, but that goat cheese dressing, it just, it was so vibrant, creamy. Now it just like, I would drink that dressing if it would be socially acceptable but unfortunately it's not. And same thing goes with the balsamic. That was just the perfect dressing. Uh, because there were like two dressings on it in that way, it was a very wet salad on top of the fact that like the squash and zucchini was soft and soggy. So the texture of the salad wasn't the best. The quinoa did help out a lot with that, gave it a little bit of a crunch, but I'm walking away not feeling like overly full but it was flavorful, delicious, and I would absolutely get it again. Okay, so in total, um, for four adults, our bill came to 103.29 without any discounts. And nobody was drinking. So that's kind of your, you gotta figure $25 a person uh, for this meal, which personally, I think is worth it for the atmosphere, the quality of the food, quality of the service. Andrew, our server, I've had Andrew many times. He's phenomenal. And I've said this on reviews before. It's not just about a good meal. It's about consistently good meals and consistently good service. That's what separates a good restaurant from a great one. And Knockwood, I've never been disappointed here. Never have I walked out of here saying that wasn't a good meal. This is a safe bet, as safe a bet as you're going to get at Walt Disney World. And I'll tell you, you want to take a nice break from the craziness in the Magic Kingdom for lunch, hop on one of the boats, come over to uh, Wilderness Lodge. It's a short walk from the dock over to Geyser Point. 
and check it out for yourself. It really is phenomenal. And that is going to do it. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you again next week.